Howdy, YouTubers. Uh, this is my 1997 Land Rover that I purchased about six months ago. And now I'm going to be tearing the engine apart. I'm going to pull both heads off and replace the head gaskets. And I'm hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that I don't have the slipped sleeve syndrome in these uh, Land Rovers, the uh, 4.0. This is a V8 4.0. Uh, a lot of them have problems with the uh, sleeve slipping in the cylinder, so I'm going to be checking for that, see if I have a steamed uh, cylinder. Uh, but uh, before I tear it apart and everything, I thought I would uh, just kind of pass this information along to a lot of you people who are new to the car world. We're going to be talking about some head gaskets issues here and what to look for. Now, uh, there are three ways to find out if you have an actual head gasket blowing. You can check the uh, dipstick, the oil dipstick here. Pull it out and see if there is any milky residue on it. Or you can pull the oil cap off here where you put your oil in the engine. Take that cap off and look at it. Turn it upside down and see if it's milky. Or you can take off your radiator cap or your reservoir, reservoir bottle cap and uh, kind of look at it and see if it's all gunky and see if you have any uh, back pressure. And also there's a special kit that you can buy for this uh, to put on it. And you can use chemicals, and it'll turn on a certain color, and it'll tell you tell you if you have a blown head gasket. So those are the three obvious ways uh, to do it. Now, you can have a head gasket also blowing that you may not even see it in any of those three locations. It could be just blowing out around the exhaust. And if you do have that, you'll probably see water leaking out and even uh, see it and smell it. So Because sometimes it always doesn't go back into the oil system or the oil ports or anything like that inside the engine so you can actually check it now um i know where mine's uh is oh uh, i know my uh condition here um uh, is to blowing head gaskets because when i was running it i can see the water squirting out on the bottom of the head down here on this side and that side so this is kind of worrisome i hope i don't uh, have a couple of uh, cracked uh, blocks or not blocks uh a couple of cracked heads on the block of this uh, engine. So uh, what you want to do uh, when you get a car, if you're going to buy one, pull the dipstick out like this. Look at that thing. Make sure that oil's nice and clean. Mine's not too bad, and you don't see any moisture there. So that's a good indication there that the engine could be okay. Then simply find your oil cap, pull it off like this, and look underneath. Nah, that is not looking good. Right there, that is a red flag. If you ever see something like this on a car that you're going to buy, you're more than likely you're going to have to pull the engine apart, and uh, it's going to be very costly, and you're going to have to replace some head gaskets. Now, you can see that is pretty bad. I know that this uh, engine has a blown head gasket, so I know this cap was like this. This is why I'm making this video to help you out. And also, if you look down in there, you can see some gooey yellow mayo looking stuff i guess it's called the mayo syndrome uh cap i don't know uh, a lot of vehicles that blow head gaskets end up like this and uh, this is one way you can check it then like i said you can go over to the uh, cap here where you put your antifreeze in and check it now uh there are uh, gaskets that sit below the head gaskets and uh, i've got a head here all engines have what we call heads and here is one now obviously this is not off this vehicle this is off of a Ford Taurus that I redid not long ago now they all have gaskets that sit on here like this now this is not the gasket that um, this head takes this is a poor rep representation but I just want to give you an idea this is a gasket that sits on this head it goes clear across it now a lot of times this gasket will end up blowing and you'll get a crack in it and some of that uh, oil and some of the pressure from the uh, cylinders will get back into the water jackets or in, into the, some of the oil ports or they'll get a crack between the uh, valves. And this is what you got to look for when you pull heads off. When you have a blowing head gaskets. Now in my case on this engine right here on my two heads on top of the engine I have a gasket that sets something like that, and it's, it's got a place in it, and the water is actually squirting out down here on the top of this head. Now, I have a video posted, uh, gosh, probably six months ago of this engine running, and you can see the water squirting out. And uh, that's one way you can actually determine that you have a head gasket that is blowing on your engine. Now, 
It doesn't tell you where the head gasket is blowing. You basically have to take the head off, pull the gasket off and look at it and try to figure out what's going on. And in some extreme cases, you may actually have to have the head tested, pressure tested, to find out if it's actually bad. Or you just have a simple gasket that's blowing on your engine. So that's about it. Just a little tip there if you're having uh, overheating problems with your engine. Uh, in some extreme cases, you can drive it a little bit uh, to get you home. Just watch the temperature gauge. Make sure it doesn't peg, get too hot, because you can uh, get these heads so hot that, that they actually crack. So uh, be aware of that. Other than that, those are the three ways to uh, find out if you have a blown head gasket, your dipstick, your cap filler cap, and over there where your uh, reservoir is for your engine coolant. So there you go. There's my tip for the day. I'm going to go ahead and start tearing this thing apart. And I'll give you guys, up, guys an update a little bit later what I find. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's just the head gaskets. If the uh, sleeves have come loose in this engine, which they call the slipped sleeve syndrome, then this engine is pretty much done. And this thing is going to turn into a boat anchor. I hope not because it's in pretty good shape. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated a little bit later. So uh, wish me luck. I'll see you then. Take care.